Hi friends, now let us learn about the anterior compartment of leg. It is anterior compartment of leg. All this is patella by that you can find out that it is knee joint. So from the knee joint. So first skin after removal of skin you can see the superficial fascia and then deep fascia in the superficial fascia you will be seeing the nerves and the muscle and the veins cutaneous nerves and the cutaneous veins so cutaneous veins first in this region is first from the dorsal digital veins this is one dorsal digital vein and proper and then again two Right, all these dorsal digital veins drain into the dorsal venous arch, which is formed by the continuation of small saphenous vein. Right, the small saphenous vein continues as dorsal digital vein into dorsal digital arches into this dorsal digital arch. All the dorsal digital veins drain. Right, this is one dorsal digital vein to the medial side of leg. After this is other dorsal digital vein which divides into two dorsal two proper digital veins dorsal digital vein two proper digital veins one dorsal two proper and this is one dorsal and two proper and this is one dorsal digital vein right this dorsal digital arch it rises above and then it becomes the great saphenous vein this is great saphenous vein this is dorsal digital vein this is short saphenous vein right it goes upwards and then near the patella and tibial tuberosity it goes to the posterior compartment so this is the great saphenous vein all these three are the all these four very different types of veins are the cutaneous veins which you can see that means while removing after you after you remove the skin you can see these veins very clearly next the cutaneous nerves what are the cutaneous nerves that you can see in this region see this is the patella as you know okay below the patella infra patella branch of saphenous nerve what is it this is infra patellar branch of saphenous nerve i'll write it later and this is saphenous vein right this is saphenous vein this is lateral cutaneous nerve of calf this is lateral side right so this is lateral cutaneous nerve of calf and this is superficial peroneal nerve which gives two branches to the second and third digits and one branch to the medial side and it also gives a these two these two are formed from the medial branches and from the lateral branches it gives like this and like this right like this but it is one branch and the other branch like this yes all this is superficial peroneal nerve from the deep peroneal nerve this two is the deep peroneal nerve and these are the nerve supply of the anterior compartment so let me let me write the names of them so that you can remember easily this is infra patellar which is below the patella so infra patellar branch of saphenous nerve saphenous nerve this is again saphenous nerve this is lateral cutaneous nerve of calf what is this this is superficial peroneal nerve this is deep peroneal nerve all these are the superficial structures that you can see in the anterior compartment of leg now if you come to the deep structures the deep fascia skin completed superficial fascia completed now deep fascia deep fascia of that leg is very large and very strong and it encloses the leg like a tight sleeve 
Now this deep fascia does not cover the subcutaneous bony surfaces. The bony surfaces are not covered by deep fascia. This deep fascia forms intramembranous septa and everything and this deep fascia extension and modification is nothing but the extensor retinaculum. The anterior compartment of leg is called as extensor compartment. So the retinaculum present here is extensor retinaculum. Extensor retinaculum is of two types. One is superior extensor retinaculum and the other is inferior extensor retinaculum. So let us find out each of them. First let us come to the superior extensor retinaculum. Superior extensor retinaculum. So first let me show you what these are first before going to, to, going to them. Yeah. Uh, these are the muscle tendons of muscles which you will see in the anterior compartment. So this is this is the lateral side. So this is lateral malleolus. This is medial malleolus. These two are the bony structures. Lateral malleolus and medial malleolus. This is the tendon of peroneus tertius which is a muscle of anterior compartment. These are the tendons of extensor digitorum longus which are the muscles of anterior compartment. And this is extensor hallucis longus. And this small thing is tibialis anterior. And here the nerves and the arteries are, artery is anterior tibial artery and anterior tibial nerve. So now, uh, where is the extensor retinaculum attached and what are its attachments and everything. Medially, this is medial and this is lateral, right? Medially, the extensor retinaculum is attached to the lower border of anterior lower part of anterior border of tibia and laterally it is attached to the lower part of anterior border of fibula so it will be like this so this is the extensor retinaculum that to superior extensor retinaculum right this is superior extensor retinaculum it extends from lower part of anterior border of tibia to the lower part of anterior border of fibula okay now relations see this extensor retinaculum is this part superior extensor retinaculum right right the superior extensor retinaculum it encloses the tibialis anterior has itself in the medial. Medially, it encloses the tibialis anterior within it. But it, pa but all the other tendons and other nerves. See, this is tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior, right? This is what is this? Can you easily guess it? See, after tibialis anterior, what is there? Extensor hallucis longus. And this big is extensor digitorum longus. And this is peroneus tertius. Right? All the other muscles, other tendons of muscles along with anterior tibial artery, anterior tibial nerve passes deep to the extensor retinaculum. That is superior extensor retinaculum. So this is superior extensor retinaculum. Now if you come to the inferior extensor retinaculum, inferior extensor retinaculum has two parts. That is the stem. It is Y shaped. You can see it's here. It's just... This is inferior extensor retinaculum, which is Y-shaped. So, how does it act now? Or how does it, how does it look now, now? The stem of Y is attached to the anterior part of non-articular surface of calcaneum. Here, there will be calcaneum. To that, it is attached. And the upper part, I mean upper band, is attached to the medial malleolus. Whereas the lower band is subcutaneous, it continues with the skin. And the lower band is continuous with the skin. And it is attached mainly with the deep fascia. To say clearly, it, it is attached to the deep fascia of the soul, right? The stem is attached to the calcaneum bone. Whereas the, what do you say? Uh, superior part, the, the upper band is attached to the lateral malleolus. And the lower band is attached to the deep fascia of the leg. Right? And now, this Y-shaped structure is inferior extensor retinaculum. You can see, in the upper band, it encloses tibialis. And let, let, let me draw with this. Upper band, it encloses tibialis anterior and extensor hallucis longus. The stem encloses extensor 
Digitorum longus and small one which is Peronius tertius to some extent. And when the, this, this is not in the same plane, right? This is in the above plane and this is in the below plane. Whereas the lower band, it lies below the exter tibialis anterior and extensor hallucis longus. You can see, all these two muscles, the tibialis anterior and extensor hallucis longus, pass deep to the inferior retinaculum, right? This is the extensor, inferior extensor retinaculum. See, these both are in different cross sections. Or it, you can say that it is a, not the straight, I mean vertical cross section, not a horizontal cross section, but it is a little slant cross section. As a result, you got the same structures twice. Right? This is the extensor retinaculum. Superior extensor retinaculum, it is attached to the upper borders of Low, sorry, lower borders of anterior surfaces of tibia and fibula. Whereas the inferior extensor retinaculum, the stem is attached to the calcaneum bone. Whereas the upper band is attached to the medial malleolus. Whereas the lower band it is attached to the deep fascia and it is continuous. So this is the anterior compartment of leg. That is these bands. And now if you come to the division, how the anterior compartment of leg is divided. Let us see this in the next, next lecture. Okay, then bye.